Now, I've done so many videos on the importance of vitamin D uh, and why you should take it and why people are deficient. I needed to create an opposite video on when not to take vitamin D simply because there's always an exception to the rule. That being said, I do want to mention that vitamin D, from my viewpoint, is the most important nutrient simply because it's really hard, almost impossible to get from your diet and people are not outside anymore like they used to, so they're not going to get it from the sun. And the consequences of not having enough vitamin D for the immune system, for your bones, for your joints, creating a little back pain. That being said, there are certain conditions where you'd want to avoid uh, taking vitamin D. There's really only one uh, side effect from taking excessive amounts of vitamin D, and that would be hypercalcemia, okay? Too much calcium in the blood, simply because vitamin D helps you absorb calcium by 20 times in the intestines. So if you're getting too much calcium in the blood, that could be a problem, specifically for the kidney, okay? Kidney stones. Out of all of these symptoms for hypocalcemia, bone pain, excessive urination, muscle weakness right here, and depression and anxiety, kidney stones would be the most serious. But since a kidney stone is really a, a super saturated um, calcium deposit with some oxalates or uric acid, if you were to consume two to 2.5 or more liters of fluid per day, and keep your oxalates kind of low by avoiding almonds and spinach and have some lemon juice, that would cut the risk way, way down. And the second thing I want to mention is these conditions that I'm talking about um, are usually states where you're also low in vitamin D, but sometimes you're not supposed to take vitamin D because of this risk right here. But some doctors will put you on vitamin D. They'll just monitor the calcium in your blood, which I think is a smart thing. Uh, for example, the first condition, sarcoidosis, which is a condition which involves the lung, the skin, the lymph nodes. It can involve other organs where you have this, these abnormal immune cells that are uh, stuck in the lungs, uh, encapsulating foreign toxin or microbe or something. But really in only four to seven percent of the cases, you'll see hypercalcemia. Not in 100% of the cases, and actually a very low percent of the cases, but it's just something you should look at if you have this condition and you're taking vitamin D. All right, next condition is primary hyperparathyroidism. This is a, a situation where you have a tumor affecting the parathyroid, and that's producing a lot of parathyroid hormone, which is uh, dumping a lot of calcium into the body. So you can actually have this condition right here, and it could end up in the kidney as well. So you just wanna be aware of taking too much vitamin D or any vitamin D if you have this condition. All right, number three, this is a rare uh, genetic disease, which I probably shouldn't even put on the list because it's so rare, but I wanted to just mention it. Familial hypocalcuric hypercalcemia. In this condition, you have hyper too much calcium, okay? And so that would be one condition where you would want to avoid vitamin D. Number four, lithium. Um, can have an effect of creating excessive calcium in the blood. So that is another thing on the list. Okay, number five, diuretics, specifically hydrochlorothiazide. So the problem is as you get rid of the fluid, you can also get rid of calcium, which could end up in your kidney. So if you take more calcium, it's gonna cause more calcium to go in the blood and end up in the kidney potentially, but it's something to know about. Okay, number six, certain cancers will cause hypercalcemia. And number seven, if you have a hyperthyroid condition where your thyroid is working too much, that could dump a lot of calcium into the blood as well. So realize these are the things that occur very rarely, um, but the most common thing is someone has a deficiency. But this is the um, main problem. And some of the symptoms that could potentially happen with this could be kidney stones, bone pain, excessive urination, muscle weakness, and depression. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.